This is Sky News. These are the headlines. Wigram will sing the final song of the century to an estimated television audience of three billion people. Simadu Jayatalaka and David Wigram have been chosen to perform for a projected television audience of three billion and sing the notes which will close the millennium at the ceremony before the Queen in the Dome. This is the first time they've sung together, David joining Sumadu's jazz session so they can get in tune. Originally, four choristers were on standby. One was to be selected at the last minute to reduce the effects of nerves. But it was felt that was unfair. David and Sumadu are the winning pair. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really, really excited. And I'm not nervous just yet because I'm not listening to people tell me all these frightening stories. Right now, I'm not nervous at all. But two minutes beforehand, I'll be shaking like anything. John Taverner has composed a piece entitled A New Beginning for them to perform. The words are the Millennium Resolution, a non-denominational prayer which didn't immediately appeal to him. It was a series of sort of resolutions, a reading rather sort of like a political slogan. And I said, no, I can't set this uh, um, peace in the world, uh, respect for the earth. I said, it's not addressed to anybody. An Orthodox Christian, John was allowed to rewrite the resolution so it's addressed to the Lord. He used a Tibetan gong to represent his belief that all major religions lead to God. And the strings come in. He hopes his music will provide inspiration as we enter the 21st century. Alison Jack, Sky News. Let's have a look at this afternoon's weather and some parts of the north will... Time. <laughs> Thank you very much to James. <laughs> Two choristers have been picked from thousands to make sure the millennium celebrations at the Dome end on a high note. Samundu Jaya Tilaka and David Wigram will sing the final song of the century to an estimated television audience of three billion. Sumadu Jayatilaka and David Wigram have the awesome task of closing the millennium. They are the choristers chosen to sing at the Millennium Dome, taking the world to the bells of Big Ben at midnight. This is the first time they've sung together. Both have completely different styles. Sumadu has no professional training. David has been a chorister from the age of six. He joined Sumadu at one of her jazz sessions so they could get in tune. Both are honoured by their millennium roles. Well, I kind of couldn't believe it at first. Um, I thought maybe they'd just find someone else, but I was rather amazed. I haven't had any lessons as such, and I haven't sung choral or anything like, like this piece um, for about two years, two and a half years since I was in the choir, so I was really absolutely honoured to get it. John Taverner has composed the music they'll perform to the words of the Millennium Resolution, a non-denominational prayer. And the strings come in. John suffers from a life-threatening illness. It affects his heart. And in a twist of fate, it also means he has extraordinarily long fingers, a gift when it comes to playing the piano. An orthodox Christian, John hopes his music will be an inspiration. Uh, maybe I hope that it, that it may awaken something in people, um, which makes them realize that when they look out the window, look out the window on a day like this with the snow covering the fields and the tree standing up, that the whole of life is a miracle. The eight-minute piece is called A New Beginning. Alison Jack, Sky News. Well, we pear shaped diamond, 203 carats, as large as the Koenor diamond or the Star of Africa. A stone made perhaps before human life began and a stone that will last 
long after. And two choir boys, or choir choristers, I should say, David Wigram, the 13-year-old BBC Choir Boy of the Year, and the 19-year-old Samudu Jithileka. And they're going to sing John Taverner's A New Beginning, supported by choirs drawn from right across the United Kingdom by the English National Opera Orchestra and Chorus, and the whole set to the words of the Millennium Resolution. First they walk to the centre of the stage and extinguish the light on the diamond. In a moment, Harriet Baker, a 15-year-old schoolgirl from Newcastle on Tyne, will read the Millennium Resolution. It was written by a wide-ranging group of Christian churches, and it's intended to embrace people not just of Christian faith, but of all faiths, and those with none. And in many homes and churches across the land, as this resolution is spoken, candles will be lit.
with fewer than three minutes to go before the start of the new millennium. In all parts of these islands, people are waiting in their own ways. Here outside Cardiff City Hall, outside Belfast City There's Hall. There's a very brave man there. On the quayside at Newcastle. And in Birmingham Centenary Square. And in Glasgow. Everybody waiting now. Twenty-three fifty-eight, and Edinburgh. Everybody counting the minutes. Ordinary minutes that are passing just like any other minutes, but leading to an extraordinary moment. We're watching as the last year of the last century of the old millennium slouches off stage to make way for the youthful entry of the new.